Hey guys, how's it going? It is February 16th, it is 11.42 a.m. and I have been done for the day for a while actually. Um, no, well, first and foremost, sorry because I have been hiding under under my rock, um, but I'm out. Okay, what have I been doing all this time? I have been trying to trade uh, penny stocks um, and... Well, more than trying to trade, I've been refreshing my penny stocks techniques and trying to apply them successfully to large cap stocks, large market cap, right? Um, and finally, finally, I do think I have something worth sharing and I'm going to go ahead and, you know, discuss, discuss the two trades I took today. And also, I will say that the reason why I was trying to alter my usual strategy and my usual 15-minute time frame or 15-minute chart time frame is because I, I I mean in this environment there are very explosive market movements and my 15-minute charts do not let me capture those so I wanted to take advantage of the market volatility I wanted to find a way of doing so and I think I finally have something that's solid and that I like. I will also say that penny stocks are not for me. I mean, I have tried in the past, I never really found any consistent success with them. I tried again, and even though the, I mean, recently, these days, and even though the technique that I developed and that I've been using seems to do pretty good, um, like, yeah, like it actually works really well for penny stocks, but it's just the way they move, the way they pop up on your scanner out of nowhere, and everything that's behind the stock that you cannot really see on the chart, that makes it really tough, at least for me, to trade them successfully. So, um, the verdict in my case is to stick to what I know, stick to what has been, you know, giving me money and paying my bills and that is regular real stocks and by real i mean you know like nvidia netflix roku uh twitter today riot today also um okay so without further ado let's let's dive right in first out of the gate not out of the gate but first one today i traded twitter i went in at 9:43 with 19 seconds so i went in here why because I liked the momentum, I liked that we had broken over pre-market highs, very important, and um, I, I really liked it, I really liked it, I thought Twitter was a little beast today, and it was, you know, gonna go higher, and it did, but before it went higher, and by the way, this, guess what guys, is my bread and butter, bread and butter pattern, um, Breakout, retest, continuation. Great trade. However, this dip right here, this dip, threw me off. And I mean, the Nasdaq and the SPY are not particularly strong today. So I was, you know, I guess I panic sold here. I didn't really sell because my system told me to. But because I was making a nice gain, uh, this was 18.29%. Um, I got out at 9.58 with some seconds. Right, so here. Um, no, coulda, shoulda, woulda, right? I, this was a gain. I panic sold. That's not good. But at least I didn't let a, a win, a nice win, turn into a loser. Had I held according to my system, up here, this was like a 32-33%, which is, again, my usual average, but my average with my other time frame, right? Um, so I don't think that really applies anymore. Also, I was trading this week's calls because this is a, a day trade. And um, this is a day trade, but we still have a few days until Friday. So... If the trade goes against me, it's not going to evaporate in two seconds, right? Um, or my premium is not going to evaporate in two seconds. But still, when you trade the same 
same week's contracts, you guys want to be super fast getting out. Like, don't take any any movements that you shouldn't be taking. That's it. Okay, so Twitter, great trade. Uh, great trade, except for my exit. My exit was not the best, but I do love my entry, and I do love that the entry was, you know, as per, as per the system, picture perfect, and it worked out really well. Like, it really did. Here's VWAP defending the, the drop. It couldn't break it. it. It really didn't make it all the way down here, but, you know, again, you can see how it bounces off of the VWAP neighborhood. Again, it defends once again, and, yeah, here this is, I mean, yeah, I think this is done for the day now, right? Or for now, anyway. Um, yeah, so mixing momentum, mixing pre-market highs, mixing VWAP, it all worked out really well. And I moved on to my next trade. Now, I was thinking about being done after this trade. However, Riot gave me an entry that I could just not refuse, right? Um, I mean, when you see an, a unicorn, you, you go for it. And Riot was a picture perfect trade again. Um, we were over pre market highs, which was, I'm oh, sorry, 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 sorry. We pre market highs was, but I don't remember now. Hold on one second. Right, pre market high, which it was right there, which was also the morning high. Um, got it. Pre market highs broke. Uh, breakout, retested, continued. Um, on on volume too. See how the volume was increasing. So I said, you know what? Let me get in. I got in here, and I sold into strength. I sold into a pop. Um, this was a 12.71% gain. Nice gain too. But I saw that. <laughs> Even though this move was nice, again, the, the current market wasn't really going with it, so I didn't want to force the machine, right? I captured my gain. Um, this was not a panic loss. This was, uh, sorry, uh, this was not, bless you, that, that's my wife sneezing, by the way. Um, this was not a panic sell. This was a sell to be safe because of the current market conditions. I could have scaled out, but I didn't. I just called it a day, done for the day. Okay, now um, I wanna go over a few honorable, honorable, honorable mentions, right? Which I didn't trade, but look at Facebook. Facebook was performing really well today. I didn't trade it, but the right moment would have been here, right? You see how it breaks pre-market highs, or is this pre-market highs? I think it is. Sorry guys, I didn't trade these, so I'm not too familiar with the levels. Uh, yeah, no, this comes from, from a different day. It was a previous resistance. Um, broke it, retested it, went back up. Boom, 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 boom. And this had momentum, by the way. Uh, CRM was also a very good one today. Soon as we break the resistance, we retest and we keep going up. Um, yeah, well, you get the idea. Sorry, I'm actually expecting some um, technicians to come, so I'm, I have to speed things up, guys. Okay, let's talk about the SPY today. Um, the SPY, okay. It gapped up to, I believe, all-time highs. Yes, sir, there it is, right? All-time highs, but... Um, you can see that at no point this felt particularly strong, right? It just collapsed. So it was very hard for any place to really have any follow through. And the NASDAQ, more of the same, gapped up and it just wanted to go down all day, right? All morning. So, I mean, if the indexes that you want to keep an eye an eye on are not performing well it follows that the place that you're taking shouldn't be you know asked too much of right um so as always guys play safe 
and if the market is not playing nice trading is not overly safe so you want to you know keep a very tight risk and when you see weakness get out get out i mean for all you know uh, you shouldn't care if the thing goes up or down you just you should care about preserving your capital and about you know getting back on top of the horse when things are more favorable and if the market is not favorable then don't force it all right guys okay sorry for the abrupt um <laughs> abrupt goodbye but you know i do hear the technicians outside my door so i want to close this video before they knock all right okay have a good one everybody stay safe and i will talk to you tomorrow cheers bye